got rib eyes going. Prep them up. Steakhouse marinade mix. It is beautiful. Tastes great. Has a great texture to it. That's awesome flavor to the steaks. As you can tell, it looks a bit grody, but I tell you, it tastes great. Damn camera's not on the focus. Let's have bad lighting in here. Here we go. Get you a Ziploc bag. Make up your marinade. Real easy to make. Tells you how to do it on the back of it. Put your steaks in there. I usually do two things of marinade. Have some in the bag already. Awesome. Then, show you guys what we do. Kick. Hey. And we leave one out just because somebody doesn't like our marinade. Well, she doesn't like any marinade. She yeah. likes salt and pepper. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, with our steaks, we're going to do fried potatoes. So, he is currently peeling the potatoes, and then after, I'm going to cut them into like little thin little slices. And I'll show you. sprinkle of minced onion in there and we just put oil down because we're gonna fry them so here we are guys got our grills nice and hot but you can take it get your steak on it get a nice good grill line on make sure you get the bars nice and hot put them on there if you You'll know when they're done. You don't want to walk off and forget them or anything like that. Just keep them on there. Keep them good. Yeah. Bam. Let them simmer on there. Get a good darkening on the other side. Let your grill lines get in there. Then you turn them over. Just keep them flipped. Keep checking them. Keep pressing them. And you know the firmest part on your hand is well done. The more they are, the more well done they are. While Marshall is outside cooking up the steaks, I'm in charge of frying some potatoes with bacon, garlic, powder, and oil. So, yeah. So, we pretty much recreated this idea. So. There's steak chef over there. So, they're still pretty much frying. I'm just been flipping them and making sure they're not burning on the other side. And you just, you don't want them like, 
charcoal. You kind of want them like a golden color like that pretty much on both sides. I can get that broken. Show you the other side. So some of them are done. And that's what they look like. So yeah. There they are. Finished products. If no ass. Then at the end of it, you get two delicious meat. Got some fried taters, some perfectly seasoned steaks. It all comes out great. And here we have it. Gotta throw a little green in there, make it look pretty. The next project for the day. Shake it, baby.